coming up now, a very dear friend, one that you all know, Raymond Burr. TV legend Raymond Burr shot to stardom playing dedicated defense attorney Perry Mason. Janice, who was there? What happened there? Why are you risking your life to keep it a secret? I... I can't tell you. All of us who were working on shows in those days take pride in just the fact that we survived it all, uh, if nothing else. Perry Mason became the longest-running lawyer series in American television history. But what most fans didn't know was that his star was Canadian. Raymond William Stacy Burr was born on May 21, 1917, in the small town of New Westminster, British Columbia. His mother worked as a silent film pianist, wetting young Raymond's appetite for life in showbiz. Burr first made his mark playing character roles and by the early 50s had appeared in more than 60 films. His specialty was playing the bad guy, and his most critically acclaimed role was the menacing wife killer in Alfred Hitchcock's classic, Rear Window. In 1956, Burr was asked to audition for yet another role as the heavy, but in a strange twist of fate, he was awarded the lead as the good guy, Perry Mason. With his signature stare and tough questioning, Burr brought authority to this role. Is your memory, Mr. Harding, only accurate when the blackmail of other people is involved? Perry Mason ran for nine seasons, during which Burr took home two Emmys. Only one year after Perry Mason ended, he would be offered another role of a lifetime, the groundbreaking part of the wheelchair-bound chief detective, Robert Ironside. Now there's a brilliant idea. Missing boy with rifle. Mentally disturbed sniper at large to panic the city and panic the boy. Any other great ideas? With the success of back-to-back long-running hit series to his name, Raymond Burr was one of TV's highest paid actors and well known for his incredible philanthropy. He worked with Errol Flynn and um, Flynn told him, if I die with more than $10 in my pocket, I haven't done a good job. And Raymond lived by that. As an escape from the demands of TV, Burr bought his own private island in the South Pacific. There, he cultivated rare orchids and built a school for the local children. When he died, he didn't have any money. He had nothing because he had given everything away. It's amazing. Nearly 20 years after the original series had ended, Burr reprised his most famous role. Isn't it true that murder was going to be the solution to all your problems? You'd have the money, the girl, and no one would ever know. Isn't it true, Mr. Braddock? Perry Mason Returns was the highest rated TV movie of 1985, and its popularity sparked a whole new generation of fans. Raymond Burr went on to make 22 more Perry Mason movies. He also received eight honorary degrees and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. But by 1993, he was diagnosed with cancer and his health was failing. Despite his illness, Burr was determined to finish his last TV movie, The Return of Ironside. He was so deathly ill, but he wanted to make sure that he finished the show for everybody else. He was an amazing man. He returned to his home and beloved vineyard in Sonoma County, California, to spend the last few months of his life surrounded by friends and his companion of 33 years, Robert Benavides. Raymond Burr passed away on September 12, 1993, at the age of 76, but will forever be remembered for his remarkable legacy.